So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the host name of your Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> the host name in this case is dex.local. That's the default host name for Raspbian for Robots. And it's the name that is broadcast over Bonjour. Um, and it's the name of the Raspberry Pi. You may be in a situation where say you're in a classroom or you may just want a unique name for your Raspberry Pi. You may also be in a situation where if you're in a classroom, you have multiple dex.local machines running um, on one server. Students may get confused about which one is theirs. So in this case, you may say if you're in a classroom, you may want to actually be running dex1.local, dex2.local, or even something even more customized like gyms.local and ellens.local, um, naming the Raspberry Pis off of uh, the user. So what we've done is we take the SD card of the PC, we take the SD card and we put it back into the PC. It shows up as a drive. So here the drive name is boot. You can see it um, down here. It's shown up as disk I. And these are the files that show up when I put that um, SD card in as a disk. The one that I'm looking for right now is called host names. That's going to have the name um, of the Raspberry Pi on it. If we want to rename it, all we have to do is open this. It's a text file and we um, change it to whatever name we want it to be and then save it and put it into the Raspberry Pi. So that's what we're going to walk through today. First uh, thing to note is that if you're running a PC, you do not want to do this with the standard notepad. I'm going to use a program called Notepad++ and I recommend that you do that as well. A standard notepad that comes packaged with Windows will add special Windows characters at the end of the file, which the um, Linux Raspberry Pi will not be able to read. So this is not an issue for Macs, but for PCs it is. So like I said, I'm using a program called Notepad++. You can install that and edit that. If I open it, host names opens up and you can see all the information right here at um, the name of the file's host names and this is dex. So in this example, I'm gonna change it from dex.local, which is again, the default host name, to dexter. So it'll be dexter.local when I wanna ping it. So I'd change that name and I'm gonna save it. So I'd, I just hit control S, that saved it. A couple of pointers here. First of all, you can put numbers, you can put uppercase and lowercase letters. Don't put any characters in there. Um, and uh, don't put any decimals or um, any non-alphanumeric characters. The other thing to note is that this is one line and one line only, and it, there are no spaces in there. There should be no spaces in the name, and there should be no spaces after the host name, and there should not be another line. So if you had another line or two, it would look like this. Uh, Notepad++ will start numbering. You do not want that. It should be just one single line with one name with no space characters in it, only alphanumeric numbers and letters. Like I said, I'm gonna save that. I'll close Notepad++ and I'm going to gently eject the SD card and we'll move on to the next step. We'll put it into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we're back now. We've just powered up the Raspberry Pi. You can see the ACT light uh, is blinking and we're gonna let that run for about five minutes and once the ACT light uh, stops blinking, we'll go ahead and just remove the power. So we've got nothing else hooked up to the Raspberry Pi, uh, but we just want to let it run. And what it'll do is it'll run a script uh, on the Raspberry Pi, and it's going to rename um, the host from dex to dexter.local. Great, so the ACT light has stopped running. I'm gonna go ahead and power it down. If I power it back up, let it come online, and the next thing we'll do is put an ethernet port in, and we'll try to connect to dexter.local. Okay, so at this point, I have rewritten the host name from dex.local to dexter.local. I've restarted it twice. Um, 
and I'm connected to the same network. So both my Raspberry Pi and my PC are connected to the same network. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to ping the old name first, dex.local, and we'll see that that is not there. We get no response. Should get a timeout, there we go. Now, if I go ahead and ping dexter.local, the new name, start getting a um, nice little response here. So I have successfully renamed it to dexter.local.